Welcome to the RIP Charts Altimetry Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over altimetry, what it means, how to best utilize it, and kind of explain the data set a little bit. I've already logged into my RIP Charts account. Um, I'm going to take a uh, select a region. We'll just use Gulf of Mexico for now. Um, altimetry granule lasts 48 hours. We'll click search. The thumbnails will come up. We'll click on a thumbnail to bring the map up and we'll look at an altimetry image. What this image represents is sea surface height. It shows us where areas of downwellings and upwellings are. Um, areas of red are areas that are higher than the zero gravity line and those are commonly referred to as downwellings or as um, some people refer them to as ocean deserts. Um, we typically as fishermen avoid the centers of these because uh, there is no life and everything is kind of pressing, pressure, pressing down towards the ocean floor. You will also notice areas of purple and blue. These are areas of upwelling. This is where the, zero, the, the water in the area is lower than the zero gravity line and is raising to equalize. And as it raises, there are nutrients and so forth that come off the deep. And as those nutrients come up, they create a chain of life. And that chain of life typically occurs in these transition zones between the upwellings and the downwellings. So us as fishermen, we should target those areas of transition. For instance, if I had areas just right here, I would actually target from the 10 line, maybe even into the 4 line right in here. You know, This area of transition is where I would target. Um, if we go something that's a little bit farther away, I, I like this transition right up into here. So those are typically what we look for. You want to avoid um, areas of, of orange and red, um, depending on how fast the water's moving and so forth, uh, will depend on, on how you target those areas. But what, what we want to just basically ensure is that we're not fishing in areas like this or we're not fishing in areas of, of severe downwelling, that we're targeting more in the transition areas and the areas of upwelling. Usually there's a rip line or some sort of transition associated with these, altim with these altimetry uh, readings. That's why we allow you to take these altimetry lines and overlay them. See, they, they kind of overlay right here, but obviously that doesn't, we're already on altimetry image, but if you're on another image, you can overlay these altimetry lines on each different image. Um, the altimetry image is created by multiple satellites. It is a cloud-free image. Um, therefore, we get the data set regardless of cloud cover um, and can be very helpful if you have quite extensive cloud cover and you have no other data. Two of the things that we look for are altimetry and bathymetry anyway. So if you line up good beneficial altimetry with a nice bottom structure, those are two out of the three things that we're looking for anyway. So um, pay attention to those things. Even if there's cloud cover, there is data here, and this is a good strategy to, uh, to make some decisions on where to fish uh, regardless uh, of cloud cover out there. And that is altimetry in a nutshell. And uh, thank you for listening to the Rip Charts tutorial.